Welcome to Porcon, the world of pigs. This is a speculative evolution seed world where the only vertebrates introduced to the planet are domesticated pigs, along with some smaller insects, decomposers, and invertebrates. A seed world is a planet seeded with earth life. These life forms are then left to evolve over millions of years, filling different niches and adapting to its environment. In our case, it's pigs. Our planet is slightly smaller than Earth, with most of the surface being land, consisting of great plains with gentle slopes. The rest of the surface is covered in water, across its multiple oceans, rivers, and ponds. It also has two small moons. You could suggest names in the comments section down below. Plant life on the planet includes huge pastures of grass containing various roots such as carrots, potatoes, beetroots, etc with a few patches of trees scattered across the plains containing fruits. The planet also has a wide variety of algae, plankton, kelp, and seagrasses in its oceans, all thanks to a terraforming project by superhuman beings in the future. All the plants on the planet are genetically modified to be the ideal food source for these pigs. The planet was designed to be a massive pig farm meant to produce the finest pork and bacon in the galaxy. But after an unknown event, the planet was abandoned, leaving the pigs to evolve on their own. Pigs, one of the most adaptable species known to us, are omnivores, so they eat a wide variety of food. They are social animals and are very intelligent. These things are smarter than dogs. I can't wait to see what evolution does to them. Also, note that we are oversimplifying evolution, which is a very long process, and representing only the species with the most significant or notable changes from their ancestors. So take this with a grain of salt. Once the pigs are abandoned, the first thing they will do is multiply. The planet is covered in an ideal food source, and without predators, this is perfect for a population boom. For the first few thousand years, the pigs will multiply rapidly. At this point, quick reproduction, faster sexual maturity, and a high number of offspring will be selected for. Wild pigs on Earth are very social animals and exist in groups known as mobs. The social structure within a mob is usually matriarchal with a female head, but males are usually larger to establish dominance while mating. These genetically modified domesticated pigs on Porcon would exhibit similar behavior. Due to this abundance of food, these pigs would reach massive numbers, but this overconsumption wouldn't affect the plant life, as they are genetically modified to regrow from strong stems. The planet, over time, without the presence of humanoid beings, would see the plains change into different biomes, with small patches of forests, swamps, and smaller biomes becoming a common sight. Eventually, when the number of pigs exceeds the food supply, some pigs will specialize in becoming larger, as a larger pig could scare away its competition and claim large patches of food for itself and its mob. These pigs may even double their ancestors' size, with mature males tripling in size, although at the cost of spending a longer time consuming food. These pigs would have a longer gestation period with fewer offspring. These large pigs would also have thick, pointy tusks. We will call them porcons. While other species of pigs may have a different strategy and evolve to have a smaller body size, as a smaller animal can survive on less food and possibly even reproduce faster. These smaller pigs would have hooves suitable for digging out roots and worms with small pointy tusks for defense. We will call them porkites. As pigs are omnivores, a lack of food might make some pigs expand their diet by consuming dead corpses and baby pigs of other pig species. These behaviors, over time, might lead to carnivorous pigs that specialize in hunting. These carnivorous pigs might come in different shapes and sizes with their own unique body plans. Some might diverge from the porcons 
and evolved large forelimbs and an agile body to chase prey. These pigs would also evolve downward pointing tusks along with sharp pointy teeth for latching onto their prey and suitable for a more carnivorous diet. We can call them poor cats. These pigs would hunt other porcons and poor kites, but due to evolutionary pressure, these pigs would evolve forms of defense against these predators. For example, a species of porcons could evolve bodies suitable for running from these poor cats and would also have enhanced senses to detect the presence of predators like pointy ears, better eyesight, etc. They could be similar to deer on earth. We will call them snouters. While a subspecies of porcons could evolve to become huge grazers specializing in plant matter, they would also have large tusks for defense and mating displays. Their main defense would be to grow so large that nothing else could harm them. These could be called gigatusks. Alongside pigs, insects, crustaceans, and other invertebrates would also evolve, filling in more niches and growing larger due to the abundance of food and resources. Some poor kites would evolve to specialize in eating these insects. They would evolve sharper, pointier hooves suitable for catching these insects and worms with small agile bodies for quick movements. They would have faster metabolisms and a high reproductive rate. These little pigs would also dig small burrows underground to stay safe from larger predators. We can call them rooters. While other species of semi-carnivorous pigs might opt for a smaller build, diverging from the poor kites. As pigs are social animals, these small carnivorous pigs would hunt in packs and coordinate their attacks. These pigs would have a leaner and more agile build for faster movement paired with razor sharp teeth, downward pointing tusks, and hooves that can latch onto their prey. These pigs would communicate through specific vocalizations to coordinate movements, similar to wolves on earth. We will call them prowlers. Animals are usually driven to evolutionarily survive and reproduce. A predator-prey arms race would eventually lead to dramatic spiraling adaptations for both species. Over time, these predator-prey relationships would create a wide variety of species. The tunnel borers would specialize in digging massive underground tunnel networks to store their food and hide from predators. The swiners, a subspecies of the poor cats, would evolve long, slender, agile bodies to easily chase and hunt down prey. And the blood hogs, a subspecies of the prowlers, specialize in scavenging the abundance of dead animals and prey on pork on. While this happens on land, some early pigs would adapt to a semi-aquatic lifestyle in the oceans of Porcon, consuming large, abundant amounts of shrimp and other crustaceans and becoming massive. These pigs would evolve more streamlined and hydrodynamic bodies with larger lungs and high levels of hemoglobin in their blood. A stronger, possibly flattened tail would assist with propulsion and steering while swimming. We will name them water hogs. Some water hogs would specialize in consuming zooplankton, krill, and other smaller crustaceans, and evolve into large filter feeders, similar to whales on Earth that evolved from land mammals.
This abundance of food in the oceans of Porkhan would let these creatures grow to massive sizes. We will call them boraxes. While another species of semi-aquatic pigs could independently evolve from the porkites with slightly webbed hooves and upward pointing snouts consuming seaweed and other aquatic plants on the shores and ponds of Porkon. We will call them wet boars. A subspecies of the wet boars would evolve into piggles, maintaining a smaller size and a faster reproduction rate. They would have a thick layer of blubber along with webbed feet, with their diet consisting of smaller crustaceans and occasional plant matter. Some water hogs might specialize in hunting these piggles, larger crustaceans, and squid in deeper oceans, and evolve into a subspecies with feet modified into webbed flippers and a very streamlined body for hunting prey. Their long snouts, razor sharp teeth, and powerful snapping bite would let them catch prey more effectively. As they already have well developed social structures, their hunting behavior could be similar to that of orcas on Earth. Hunting in packs with coordinated attacks. These could be called porcas. Without the presence of humans for millions of years, a lot has changed on the planet Porcon. This is the first part of a three part series. In the next video we will see how sentient pigs and other species could evolve on Porcon with the changing environment and ecosystems. You can suggest names and how new species could evolve on planet Porcon in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Making these videos takes a lot of time so consider subscribing and feel free to critique and give suggestions for future videos. It helps out a lot. And also huge shout out to Alien Evolution and Kappa for inspiring me to make this video. Have a great day.